which one did you like doing better? Which movie? I would say I liked it better for any reason, but just this one was shorter, so it took less time, so that's why. I mean, in and out. But I, it was fun though. It was really fun because it was two very different emotions. One side I'm getting pretty much attacked, you know, trapped on the floor. I was like, oh my god, my hair, guys, my jeans, oh my god. And then the other one I'm getting really, really sick. It's more emotional. So, um, the 93 days. Yeah, 93 days. It's more emotional. Two very different films. So I can't say. Was there any particular scene in 93 Days that was difficult for you to shoot? Whew. Do you remember? I mean, it's it was a long time ago. It wasn't difficult to Oh, shoot. wow. <laughs> I think the, the less difficult ones were just the early scenes, you know, just going into the office and then the very last scene, which actually wasn't that easy to shoot because you're seeing me, you know, trying to smile again after going through such an ordeal so I was still relieving everything like I really was there because um, thanks to the production we actually shot in the real locations in the hospital at the isolation ward and I really lost a lot of weight I, I was doing that on purpose to get oh. into character so I really felt like I went through an ordeal and we shot for about 12 to 14 weeks so this was me in that headspace for quite a while so 12 to 14 weeks of shooting, that's not very common. It's not. Here. No, much. Yeah, so this was intense, but it was good intense. How so? Because, like I keep saying on every single interview, it, it was, I had the best team. Not like they were there for me, but we were there for each other. If anyone needed support, be it acting, coaching, even just emotional support, we were there. It was so you were acting, cool. coaching each other? Well, kind they were of? acting coaching me. I mean, I'm like the baby amongst everybody. Everyone else is like a veteran, you know. Mm. Um, beside Auntie Bimbo, Uncle Kepi, um, McAllister, like Danny Glover, everybody, you know, has a lot more ex had a lot more experience than I did at the time. So it was it was very comforting, you know, being around them and um, getting their advice. And even up to the makeup artist, she would come and you know, she'd be like breathe. Um, you need a minute and then she'll play Amazing Grace just before a very emotional scene and it worked perfectly. So, yeah. Awesome. How many films have you made? Have you done so far? Woohoo! Not that many. If I if I'll count it, I don't think it's I'd say seven, right? No. Okay. About seven films off the top of my head. And uh, that's that's not that's not that's uh, not a lot. No, that's not a, a small amount of. Uh, it's not small. I mean, compared work. to the industry that I'm in, that's like. Yeah, because this industry is fast. <laughs> it's yeah. very fast. Very fast paced. But um, I do like the amount of work I've done in terms of quality and what is putting out there, um, and the series I've done. I've done two major series right now. And how do you choose the stuff that you do? The characters and the story. For the most part and um, how do you work on the character so when i read about the character i have to connect on some level not from experience but just from and it, and it has to do with the writing a lot i have to see life through the eyes of the character so if i get that then i'm game i will go ahead and play someone that's completely out of my league i've had situations where i've wanted to play a house a girl twice I've never been to the north and that's because her story was just so profound. And I say her like she's alive. I still remember both of them. I've, I've had to audition for a house of character twice. And I've gotten so close, so close, and convincingly close that I even got a standing ovation at the oh. auditions. But, you know, a house of speaking person just kind of beats me to it. Yeah. So would you say next time you want to play house of girl, would you go up north and maybe... I was ready to go up north. I've always ready. get to know yes, the absolutely. house of life a bit mm -hmm. closer. Funny enough, I just wanted to go there not because of a role, but more because of what's going on with the girls up there mm -hmm. and the families. Not just the girls, just the families with the religious extremists and all this Boko Haram. So, so I've wanted to go, um, but I just haven't had the chance to. But I think I will, just out of sheer empathy for my own people. And then, you know, every I, I believe you become a better actor when you've experienced more. You know, you've felt more. 
you your eyes have seen more the eyes are like they say the window to your soul so it everything you see imprints on your soul so if you when you see pain when you see suffering when you hear it you may not understand the language that they speak but you understand the language of their emotions of their heart and their eyes so, yeah. yeah i agree so it's the experiences in our lives that connect us to the would you say it's the experiences in your life that connect you to the experiences of the characters absolutely Absolutely, and um, I've had people ask me, you've never had Ebola, but how could you emote? That's the power of emotion. You may have never been in the same situation, but emotions are familiar mm -hmm. to us. And mm -hmm. then with information, because there's talent, there's skill. Skill is an upgrade of talent. When you go and you do your research, then you can emote. Almost research. Like How do you go into your research? For something like Ebola, it's a topic in and by itself. There's a disease, and then there's the person you're trying to play. I was, I played someone who's still alive, and she had a wealth of information out there. Her personal. Journal. So you actually went and spoke to her. Well, I didn't get to speak to her, funny enough, until after. But oh. I felt like I did because she's very vocal on social media, Twitter. Mm. Mm. So I could hear her voice. I could, and then I watched interviews. So how did, well, how, what did she say about the movie after afterwards? I honestly don't know if she's watched it yet because when I spoke to her, um, she hadn't seen it yet. We were just in post production, mm. and it was supposed to be like a ten minute conversation, but it ended up being about at least an hour or two. So cool. we definitely had more than enough to talk about, and she's such a cool person. And I believe someone, uh, I think her brother had said um, I did justice to his sister so. wow that's awesome yeah, so I think I think uh, my job there is done so when you're watching the movies that you've played in mm -hmm. afterwards